Hi, this is James Whale, and you're watching Weird World Fives. This week's top five is on cryonics. Now, cryogenics, the stuff of science fiction, right? Well, you'd be surprised to hear that the process of freezing human beings is already being put into action. Whilst there's been no end product just yet, people at the end of their life cycle are committing themselves to be preserved in the hope of medical advances, that they can see them reap the benefits in the future. Well, here's a handful of facts you want to know about cryonics. Fact number five. The founder of cryonics institution Robert C. Ettinger, who himself is considered the father of cryonics, was inspired to pursue his life-extending dream for humanity while recovering in an army hospital after World War II. It was in hospital he discovered the cryogenic research of Gene Rostand, who froze frog sperm and successfully revived them to an active state. Rostand then theorized that the same could work on aged and ill-healthed humans. In the top five cryogenic facts, number four, in 1964, Ettinger's book, The Prospect of Immortality, which laid down the foundations for cryonics, was published. Overnight, Ettinger became the most credible voice in the scientific community to support the idea of cryonics. This would lead to the establishment of Cryonics Institution in 1976 to begin suspending patients in their liquid nitrogen cryostats. Cryogenic fact number three. There are currently two companies in the United States offering full cryosuspension services. As well as the Cryonics Institution, there is Alcor Life Extension Foundation based in Arizona. 73-year-old psychologist Dr. James Bedford became the first person to become cryogenically frozen in 1967. He's currently suspended in Alcor, along with 58 other patients in the facility, with more than 650 future patients waiting their turn, including reportedly X Factor's Simon Cowell. Cryogenics fact number two. The process of cryonics begins immediately after a patient's heart stops. The idea is that the patient isn't dead and the preserving of the body at this point until the future advances in medical care can reverse any damage that may have been caused. Now, if not the body, patients can opt to have just their head preserved instead so that in the future they can be put onto or have their personalities transformed to a new body. We could all do with a new body. And who knows? Who knows what the future will bring? Cryogenics fact number one. For the princely sum of $28,000, yes, you, you could join others in the cryostates. This doesn't include, by the way, the $120 yearly membership, along with any other fees incurred at the time of cryosuspension, including transfer and expenses for cryonic representatives to be there to quickly respond to your body shutting down. Still, who knows? We could all come back in the future. And that was your Weird World Fives for this week. If you have any of your own, be sure to pop them in the comments below. And if you want to see more videos like this one and subscribe to the channel, well, please do so. Thanks and see you soon.